Yo, what's going on? It's Popular Stranger back with another video here on the Gameplay Channel. So, a lot of you are struggling with the Extreme Combine solo, specifically the third one that's going to earn you a free 95 overall Darren McFadden. I'm going to show you how I beat it and how I beat it with basically two plays, one on offense, one on defense. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what's going on, if you go into your solo challenges and look for the Combine section of solos, which for me is going to be at the bottom now that I finish them, uh, there is a bunch of free content you can earn from these and in order to unlock the extreme combine section you're gonna have to perfect on every solo in that first initial sequence so you got to get 72 of 72 stars pretty good rewards here you get a couple free cards and nate wiggins and bo Nix that get any team cam so it's great for building up a 50 50 nfl theme team you get xp for the field pass which gives you more free content at level three or tier three you get a 93 overall bnd combine pack some really good budget options in there and all of those cards also give you any of the 32 nfl team cams so 72 stars will get you up to the bo Nix reward you need three more stars to get the 95 overall Darren McFadden, which is an extremely good card. 97 speed, he has good acceleration, change of direction, trucking, juke move, brake tackle, all of that is good as well. He gets any of the 32 team cams, Super Bowl cam, NFL combine cam, he gets all the motivator cams. He's basically a free 98, 99 overall card almost. So EA made it a little bit challenging to get him, but I think for the most part, all of you can complete this. And a lot of people, I've been getting messages on Twitch and Twitter and whatnot, are struggling with the third solo. So basically you got three different solos that you need to beat once you unlock them. The first one, you get the ball, you're starting with the ball down 10, and you basically got 14 minutes of game clock to come back. Not too difficult. The second one is the same situation, but instead of being down 10, you're down 14. The third one, if you read the description, it says that you're down 24, but I'm pretty sure you're only down 21. You still get the ball, you still have 14 minutes of game clock to make that comeback. And here's the score. I mean, I beat them 77 to 52. So I was down 21 and end up winning by 25. That's how easy it is if you stick to these two plays that I'm going to show you on what to run. So let's go ahead and jump into the solo. I'll try to live demo it. We'll show you some clips of the time when I actually beat it to earn the free Darren McFadden card. One thing to point out is that these games are on the arcade game mode, which means fumbles happen pretty frequently. So if you can get to the quarterback and make them fumble, or if you can time up some hit sticks, you're going to get a lot of fumbles and turnovers. And that's really what you need to make this comeback here. So on offense, I'm going to be in the Jets offensive playbook. Let me call a timeout here. Never mind, it won't let me. Uh, the play that I run pretty much any time I play a solo challenge, a solo battle, is going to be wide trail out of the gun bunch strong offset formation. Again, I'm in the Jets playbook. You can go to huddle.gg and look through the playbooks on there to see if it's in any other playbooks, but this is the one that I use. And I'm pretty much always looking for the drag initially here, and if he's not open, then X right there. I don't think a lot of you are struggling on offense. It seems like defense is the problem, but that's the play that I continue to run over and over and over and over again in any solo challenge that makes it really easy to score. So the play that I run on defense every time and we're in the Chiefs defensive playbook is going to be under 4-3, and we're going to go 4-3 under and it's Hammer O Blast. I've talked about this play in several other videos. It's going to be hard to live demo it right away, but basically you want to use her, the linebacker that's the same side as the running back. He's going to be a responsibility. If he doesn't go out for a pass, drop back in coverage. They really love to throw uh, streaks and, and out routes or corner routes. So you got to try to use her those and take it away, and you can get a lot of interceptions too. So it's going to be a little bit hard to live demo this because you just never know what you're going to get. So now that he's covering the running back, I like to blitz the guy who's opposite of the running back, and then our responsibility. And there we go. You just got to drop back. They love streaks and they love corner routes. So if you can kind of time those things up, it's a really good opportunity to get turnovers. And we now got the ball back down 14 and we've only used 50 seconds of game clock. Same wide trail play on offense. We're going to look for the drag, which is our circle route. And then if that's not open, we got the tight end. Don't be afraid to just take the quick check down and try to get some yak yardage there. And by the way, this is all with my no money spent squad. So uh, you know, we got a pretty good team, but you don't need an absolute goon squad to beat this. Now, here's one thing to look for. If you look to the left of the screen, they are pressing Jerry Rice. If you see press like this, 
that's actually going to be your first read because this route pretty much always beats press coverage and you got to throw a quick bullet pass in there so hopefully we get that animation let's see what happens when we snap it and yep he beats his man throw a bullet pass in there and a lot of times you can run right up the field for a quick touchdown they don't press this frequently it's like once every five or six plays but we're getting again here so we might be able to do it one more time and again he beats the press this works an online play by the way if you run that same play and you see somebody pressing there's a small window where you can fit that football in there but again you see we've now scored two touchdowns we're only down seven after the extra point of course and we still have the whole fourth quarter and three and a half minutes left in the third after a touchdown it's actually really important on the kickoff as well great opportunity to force a fumble so use your left analog stick go all the way to the right choose sky kick which is going to be triangle or y on xbox and you can give it like very little power just make sure your accuracy accuracy is correct uh and you're going to try to select one of these defenders on the left of screen and basically time a hit stick it's not going to work every time but a lot of times okay it didn't work there a lot of times you are able to complete that and because it's on arcade mode you might force a fumble there so back to four three back to four three under back to hammer o blast we're gonna press so that's y or triangle and down on your d-pad if you get five wide a lot of times you want to cover a guy manually now we're probably going to get smoked there if not the pressure gets home and boom we got a sack i feel a turnover coming this might be some type of out or corner route here some type of bench concept and there we go pressure got home normally Mahomes will fumble more frequently when you're able to get pressure like this he's not doing it today blitz the linebacker opposite of the running back this is our responsibility we're going to run up field here because it doesn't look like the running back's going out on a route Mahomes has way too much time go on you, you got a fumble there all right at least we held him to a field goal this time around and there is X again, and just like that, we're all the way down the field, and now after the extra point, we're going to be down three points. Tight formation again, we're going to kind of watch 83 if the running back doesn't go out, and sure enough, there's that streak, and there's our interceptions. I told you, they love to run those streaks and little corner routes, and we made another play, got a turnover. Now, we're in great position, because there's 14, 4 minutes and 13 seconds left, we're only down three. If you're good right here on offense, you could bleed the clock, get inside that five yard line and basically score a touchdown with little time left and close this game out that way. With about 20 seconds left, this is where game management's gonna be crucial, right? Because you don't wanna leave them enough time for some stupid flukedness to happen. Flukedness isn't a word, a stupid fluke to happen but you also want to allow yourself enough time to score. Now, don't be afraid to run the ball here because their run defense isn't that amazing in this game mode, and you don't want to make that mistake of throwing an interception in the red zone. Also, don't be afraid to put it on conservative if you're going to run the ball so you don't fumble. Of course, the run defense plays amazing right now. I'm going to run the ball on second down, and then we still have third and fourth down to pass, but I feel like we're going to get in the end zone here. And there we go. Darren McFadden in for a touchdown. So now... We got the lead, extra point pending, but we still have the lead without it. 12 seconds left. I think we got this one in the bag. We're just going to play some safe coverage here with eight seconds and counting. They're throwing it uh, upfield, all right? And that should, oh gosh, okay. That should just about do it there. GG's, and those are the two plays that you can run to easily beat this and earn your free 95 overall Darren McFadden. You saw it right in front of your eyes.